I would like the I would like the record to show that my primary inspiration is Prozac. <laughs> My name is Mike Citrola. I'm 29 years old. I'm from East Meadow, New York, and I am a writer and a video artist. I would say the theme of my piece is laziness. It is uh, just kind of looking at the standards that we've been forced to swallow about what it means to have self-value and what it means to be productive in this world and kind of challenging that. Taking the time to really refocus on pleasure and allow yourself to enjoy the things that you've been taught to feel ashamed of gives you the opportunity to have the relationship with those things that you really want. Laziness to me is the contentness to like accept and celebrate a lack of productivity. I lost my job like a lot of people in the summer of 2020 and I'd say the, the main like factor of that summer for me individually was the like overcoming the guilt of not working and being unemployed and accepting unemployment from the government. My initial way of making myself feel better about that was to think of like well how would I feel if I was just like an Italian prince on vacation who like had means and had the ability to enjoy life through finding beauty in things and stillness. Growing up, I was obsessed with television. In the 90s, we had this the TV it was, you know, astronomically smaller than the screens that we're used to now but it was this hulking giant machine. Uh, it has this soothing hum as it plays that plays underneath all the any audio of any channel that you might watch. You go up to it, especially as a kid, and like touch your finger along the screen and feel the static and like get to like release that static. It's this, this energy that you could feel emanating off of it. And it was a type of connection to the rest of humanity that was novel in a time that we didn't have like cell phones and the internet yet. There is something really comforting there and really passive about the way that you just leave the TV on without having to focus so heavily on it. And what I like to do is create images that remind people about how accessible pleasure is in life and how prioritized comfort should be over and contentness should be over winning. Pleasure is abundant. Pleasure is just there for us to accept. The purpose of life is just to be able to bask in the sun that's already shining and to view the trees that are already blowing in the breeze and to touch other bodies slowly without a goal or without a mission or a, a need to prove yourself in any way. So the additional element of the installation is the kind of plant life sculpture. We've designed a sculpture somewhat of living plant life and dried plant matter that envelops the, the TV console and the, the video playing. So it kind of appears birthed from the earth, it appears natural in a way. And what I enjoy about that is just the, the passivity of house plants and plant life in general. These are beautiful things that are moving and developing and growing, but to do that, you don't have to coax them or manipulate them. You actually have to do a lot less than human nature usually tells you to by watering them when you can and just letting them uh, grow and develop and grow more beautiful over time. Uh, the dried plant matter mixed in is something that you don't have to worry about taking care of. It's something that just stays and preserves its beauty slowly and it's the sort of thing that reminds you that sometimes this early investment in beauty is something that can be permanent. I have a terrible memory, so I have to live in the moment by, uh, by nature of brain chemistry. And I've learned that that's directed me towards giving myself an hour to enjoy my cup of coffee or 10 minutes to enjoy my cigarette. 
for as much time as I need to enjoy the way the trees outside would look blowing in the wind. It's kind of helped me organize my life around enjoyment and actually be, be able to recognize when I'm enjoying things, when I'm not, and what I'm doing just for the sake of getting through it. Because I really don't think that we should be suffering through things just to have a, like a false victory of achieving them. This is prop one. I, I'm like, I can't stop. It's just there. <laughs>